All right, lots of you. This is excellent. Now, I have a few questions for you to start with. Can anyone tell me what book of the Bible we are reading in church at the moment? Andy. 1 Peter. Very good. Who wrote the book of 1 Peter? Brody. Now then, good one, Peter. So it's a letter from Peter, and do you know who he's writing to? Are they Christians? Are they non Christians? Is it a church? Elsa, what do you reckon? He is. He's writing to Christians, and he's writing them a letter to try to help them understand how they can love God more, how what God wants them to do, how they can act in a way that pleases God, and how they can be people who are Jesus' people. So do you think that sounds like that's something we can learn about too? Yes. Alice and Millie have got distracted by the stained glass. All right, so I'm going to ask you a few questions, and this is what we're trying to learn from 1 Peter today. So this is a bit of a random question, but I'm going to ask you, how can you tell an apple tree is an apple tree? Brody. It has apples on it. Yep, that is a very good idea. Okay, Mia, here's a question for you. How can you tell that a banana tree is a banana tree? From the bananas? Yeah, great answer. Okay, Molly, here's a very tricky one. How can you tell a strawberry plant is a strawberry plant? From the strawberries on it, that's right. Okay, so you can tell about plants and other things by looking at them and seeing what they produce. Okay, so here's the tricky question. How can you tell a person is a Christian person, is someone who loves God? Alice, what do you reckon? Yeah, they come to church. Elsa, what do you think? They show they're kind to people. Brody, what do you think? <laughs> Sometimes they do. Maybe that just means they love they love the Bible and they love reading the Bible. So just like how you can tell what kind of plant is from the fruit that it produces, you can tell what kind of a person you are from the things that you do as well, the things that you produce. And Peter is telling his church, telling the people there, that he wants them to be people that show everyone around them that they love God. And they show them that by doing all the things that God wants them to do. So the things you do are really important because that's a way to show God to everyone else around you. So hands up if you've got friends. Yes, everyone has friends. And how can you show them that you love God? What do you think, Brody? By giving them a the Bible. Yeah. What do you think, Mills? By being nice to them when you point them, by being kind to them. Do you tell them lies? No. Yes. Do you punch them in the face? No. Are you going to be kind to them and gentle and tell them the truth and look after them when they're hurt? Yeah, so you do all the things that we know are good things to do. And that does it not just a good thing to do, but it shows them that you're one of God's people. Okay? Molly, I'll get back to you later. So these are some sheets that you're going to have to remind you that the good things you do, you're doing not just because they're good things to do, but you're doing it because you can show people that you're a Christian. You can show them what God is like. Yeah. So you can go away. There's lots of sheets. There's some that are good for the little people. There's some that are good... For the big things. So the big things get your Bibles out and read them and then try and do them. And there's also the memory verse, which we'll be having a test on soon to try to remember. Alright, so let's pray together and then you can all go and do your sheets. Close your eyes, hands together. Dear God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you have asked each one of these children to be part of your family. Help them to show everyone around them that they love you and that they